For years ago, I started an unexpected trip, an adventure with frogs. At first, I just wanted a pet that wouldn't grow too big. Little did I know, the decision would change my life. I created different tank for them, providing a comfortable living space. Also, I've tried various foods to ensure they have a balanced diet and meet their needs. This journey has had its challenges, sometimes we face setbacks, but we also experience the sweetness of achievement. We are actively working on conservation efforts and reintroducing them back into their native habitats. Creating a stable base is a crucial task. Requiring careful consideration of water flow, filtration systems, the arrangement of coverings, and ensuring ample space for plant growth. Using aquarium foam is not only a decorative technique, but also aimed at enriching the living space for frogs, providing them with a diverse and abundant environment to find joy on the substrate. The foam has completely dried, although we will cover its surface with moss. We will still cut it into a stone-like shape to ensure that the overall presentation is natural and flawless. Cutting foam always takes a significant amount of time, but it's all worth it to provide a better environment for the creatures. Raising tree frogs to maturity is indeed quite challenging. They are not only selective about their food, but also require live prey. During this period, we faced significant setbacks, as many of them unfortunately did not survive. However, ultimately succeeding in nurturing individuals to maturity, and achieving successful breeding makes all the efforts much more meaningful. The frogs require sufficient vertical space, simulating an environment with trees and branches.
provide abundant vegetation, and branches to simulate a natural tree-like environment. Ensuring a clear, unpolluted, and stable water environment is crucial for the healthy growth of frogs. Therefore, the operation of the submersible pump is of utmost importance. The frogs require a water source, but unlike some other frogs, they don't need extensive aquatic areas. It's important to maintain humidity within the range suitable for frogs. The soil for plants should have excellent drainage capabilities and provide rich nutrients. To ensure proper moisture, air, and essential nutrients for the plant roots, promoting their healthy growth. Spring tails and isopods can enhance soil aeration and water retention as well as contribute to waste decomposition. They commonly enjoy consuming crickets or fruit flies which become an essential part of their diet. The plants have started to thrive due to the favorable environment. She thinks there is food where the water drops. I have created at least 10 aquariums for the frogs. Each crafting experience has deepened my understanding of their needs. I hope to successfully breed the next generation in March and once again release them into their native habitat.